Good morning, everyone. I'm a little breaker on the director of the marijuana Missouri Department of Health. Thank you for coming today. We appreciate your attention and support in, in this new endeavor for Missouri. Um, just a little bit of background. As all of you know, uh, Amendment 2 passed on November the 6th with a 65% margin of victory over two other initiatives, and, and it placed the responsibility of the program on the Missouri Department of Health. And so we've been working really hard to get the program uh, meet all the deadlines and goals that were specified in the amendment. And one part of the rulemaking process was to be able to come up with a scoring system in order to award the licenses for the facilities. And so that's what these uh, 10 meetings that we've planned are all about. Now, this is the uh, third one, I guess. We had two last week. And uh, we'll have, uh, again, 10 of these in total. And they're all categories that were specified in the amendment that we are to look at and develop uh, questions and rules for for the licensing procedure. So that's what we're doing. And we're glad to have uh, uh, some folks help us on our panel today with these questions. And if you all would, I'll allow you all to introduce yourselves, if you would, and who you're with. Sure. I'm Ray McCarty, President of Associated Industries of Missouri, where Business Trade Association has been in existence since 1919. I'm Kelly Dyer. I'm with the Missouri Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And I'm Alan Spell. I'm with the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Richard Moore. I'm General Counsel for the Department of Health. Steve Deerhoff, Legal Counsel at Department of Health. Okay, so we'll get you ready to go here. Uh, <clears throat> Richard Moore will be the moderator for the uh, panel, and with that, uh, we'll take her, take her off, uh, Richard. All right, thank everyone for showing up this morning. Um, as Lyndall said, there are 10 constitutional topics, silos, uh, in which we'll be asking questions of the applicants in. Um, we're going to go through one of those topics today, which is the pos uh, uh, potential for pos positive economic impact in the site community. Uh, one of the things that I will um, preface this by saying is these questions were designed in such a way, in fact all questions were designed in such a way that they stayed within their topic, uh, there was not crossover, and we have to remember that these are going to be blindly scored, so we got to put ourselves in the position of the score when we're trying to figure out what information they need to make a reasonable assessment of the applicant. Um, some other topics will, will address questions that you may uh, uh, inherently want to have a little more uh, information about but just realize that we're probably going to cover those somewhere else and some of the um, things to also remember is the the rules are, are being uh, being developed right now as well so those are going to be minimum standards those are the thresholds so we're not going to ask are you going to meet the minimums we're requiring them to meet the minimums so the questions are trying to set on top of the minimums that are in the draft rules so with that, I will go through um, each question. I will read it, uh, give the committee an opportunity to uh, determine whether they believe that the question is suitable, whether it needs amendment, whether it needs to be deleted. Um, I've got some of your amendments already, and I will, I will address those. Once we complete um, the drafting of an individual question, we will ask that you um, give us some guidance on what you believe the appropriate level of importance is for that, um, and that is, in fact, I don't think I have my list here. It is uh, important, highly important. Um, oh my gosh. We will get those before we get to that topic. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull that up. Um, and it's in the email that I sent to you all as well. Yeah. Uh, you have those there? Yes. Uh, one is slightly important, two important, three highly important, and four critically important. Okay. All right. So let's begin with question 89. Describe how the business, uh, describe how will the business have a positive economic impact on the site community, parenthetical example, study surveys, etc. There's been a suggestion for an amendment to strike that in its entirety and replace it with because a quote site community unquote is dependent on the location of the business comma describe what you believe the community will be for their proposed location of the business, parenthetical, city, comma, town, comma, neighborhood, et cetera, in parenthetical, and how the business will have a positive economic impact in that community. Any thoughts on that question? Well, I do like the, the clarifying um, language there. I feel like uh, th that's going to be an important part of um, understanding 
um, what the context is. It is one of those questions that does um, allow a lot of variability from different applicants. Uh, so um, uh, it's one where I think it's okay to have that question asked. I do feel like though it, because it's not an apples to apples with every single um, um, response, uh, it probably um, should be taken into consideration that there will be very diverse answers. So it's gonna be hard to put everything on the one scale. Mm -hmm. I agree. But as you said, this is after the initial group has been has met the minimum qualifications, right? So That's they've correct. met the minimum qualifications. This will sit on top of that. I think it does a, a good job of trying to get zero in on where they're going to be and what the impact they are expecting to have. Okay. Are we good with that question? Hmm? As yeah. amended. All right. Yeah. Yes. So then what level of importance <coughs> would you put on that? Uh, slightly important, important, highly important, or critically important? The department suggests highly important. I like that yeah. myself. I, yeah. I think uh, it is a very important part of what voters thought they were doing when they approved the amendment in the first place and in, this, in respect to uh, this particular aspect of it. So I think it is, I think it is highly important. I agree. I can agree with that. All right, question 90. The original question was how many full-time equivalent jobs will the business have created within one year of being authorized to sell or produce medical marijuana? There's been a suggestion from the committee of an amendment. Um, it's going to, I'll read the entire thing again. How many full-time equivalent jobs will the business have created within one year of being authorized to sell or process medical marijuana? Question mark. Then the addition of provide a breakdown of part-time and full-time positions. Any thoughts on that question? Well, I I um, I like the um, question as amended. I think that um, having uh, full-time equivalent is a if everyone understands what that means, will will get the um, the the job numbers. But I'm not sure everyone understands uh, how to calculate that. So I think having that part-time and full-time gives an extra bit of information that can help us if um, if you're looking to understand um, a, a business that has six jobs all part-time has three full-time FTE versus one that has five jobs um, and then a half time so there's there's a little bit of difference there but I think having both of those gives um, the full breadth of um, response for the for the applicant okay. because I have a question <coughs> a question on that are the uh, Size of the growth operations are they um, are they determined already? I mean, will we have variances just because of the size of them, or sure. are they all required? Okay, so yeah, there's not a minimum number of employees. That okay, exist. Okay. okay are, are we all right with the question? Yep. Yes. So then, on the important scale, um, what do you believe the appropriate level is? The department recommends important. And the scale again is slightly important, important, highly, and critically. I would I would weigh toward highly important myself. Um, I it, agree. It is one that is more objective uh, of a consideration than than maybe the first one. And if the first one is um, highly important, I would see this one as as being highly important. I agree. I, I agree, but I think we also need to realize, as as you said, this is one of ninety some questions. So. Um, I think we need to realize, though, some operations may have different technology. I mean, we see this in manufacturing all the time. If you have more tech on the technology side, you need fewer people. So that's something that shouldn't just disqualify someone if they aren't creating, an, you know, the same number of jobs as somebody else. They may be doing something in a different way and ending up with the same result. Yeah, there's as long as we realize you know, that. There's a, an appreciation out of the department that just because you have 100 employees doesn't mean, I mean, it's great for the economic side of it, and that's your, that's your topic, but it doesn't right. necessarily mean that that is the type of facility that is the best for that situation. Right, and they could have an investment in equipment, because we see this also in the manufacturing side. The equipment side could be higher. They could spend more on the equipment side, less on the, on the people side, and the community could still benefit through property taxes and other things. Okay. So are we settling on highly important? It's fine with me. Okay. 
Question 91, which was originally, how many part-time jobs will the business have created within one year of being authorized to sell or produce medical marijuana has been suggested to be deleted, and we've rolled that into the previous amendment, so I believe we're probably all fine with that. Yep. Yes. Yes. Question 92, what will the average hourly wage of employees, parenthetical, excluding the principal officers and owners, parenthetical, in the first year the business is authorized to sell or produce medical marijuana, question mark. If an employee, and I'm adding the word is, salaried, comma, divide salary by 2080 to calculate hourly wage. Any thoughts on that question? I think that's an important question to know, <coughs> um, and it will affect the econo on the economic side. You know, you're going to have, then you'll have the job numbers, you'll have the salaries, you can be able to better tell what the economic impact on the community is. So from our perspective, I think it's a good question. I concur, I think, and I think some of the um, uh, notions of, of um, there are average wages that are paid in certain sectors. I think the, the question that Ray brought up or the comment about the, the investment in machinery and, and that a lot of times shows itself in higher paying wages as well. Um, so I think those sometimes offset maybe less jobs, but you have higher wages because you need more skilled workers. So I think those two together represent a fuller picture. I agree. And I, yeah, I agree. They need to think at what the average wage is going to be so they know they're going to be competitive to the other competitors or employers in the town. And I've, having reviewed lots of business plans over the years, people don't think in these terms. They think in lump sums. But if you make them think in units, mm -hmm. that helps them think out the next, you know, the other parts that the other committees have. All right. Sounds like we'll go with the question. What level of importance would you assign to it? The department put important. The rankings are slightly important, important, highly important, critically important. I think it needs to have the same weight as number 90 there, and the number of jobs, you know, the amount that we're paying, I think, should be highly important as well. I agree. Agree. Okay. All right, so then is there any other questions you all feel that is necessary that we've not touched upon? I'm fine. No, I know you have other questions too, and I, um, I think these would be suitable. Okay. I agree. All right, then we're going to do one vote. Um, all those in favor of accepting the questions as amended signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say no. Ayes have it, and we certainly appreciate your efforts in helping us with this process. Yeah, thank you. And that concludes thank our you hearing. All. Appreciate it. Thank you.